Let's talk about two important power move stretches, which actually I never see anybody talking about, but they really, really work. So uh, when you start up, I really uh, suggest trying all the stretches that you you know need basically to get as wide and as uh, collapsed as possible. So b boying, a lot of it is collapsing onto yourself, and you know using this to do transitions and moves and freezes. So this collapse is very important and you need to sort of stretch that pancake. But uh, the two power move stretches I'm actually talking about are the sides of your power move. And I'm talking about the windmill, the halo, the flare, the air flare, right? And all that's in between those moves, you also use it. So which stretches I'm talking about, we're gonna lay on our side, pull our leg into our body like this. And my toe is facing up. Now I'll grab my foot and pull this leg all the way into my body. If you cannot do this, it's totally fine to hold this. It's also fine to just let go and push it towards you, but I suggest first doing it with the hand to really help you. Now, at this point, a lot of people cheat. So in other words, they do something like this. Yes, you will stretch all the way, but you're cheating, you're not stretching at all. You need to stretch your legs and keep it straight. Now, when you want, you can also lift the bottom leg a little bit and you know, really tense it, but just hold this position for, I should I suggest like I count with the music, so I just count 50 counts of the beat or just, you know, hold it for 30 seconds should work. I suggest pointing your toe like this because as you do this, the stretch is less. So really do this, it's also the b-boy stretch, right? So from this side, just go to the other side and do the exact same thing, right here. So uh, yeah, you need to do a lot of other stretches, but these stretches will help a lot with power moves. Basically, uh, these are the side stretches for your windmills, flares and air flares, and also the halo. So when you're on the side of your power move, these are the stretches, and rarely anybody talks about them, but they really help. So uh, when you do, I'm not gonna talk about the, the halo for a bit, right? Because that's one of those power moves. Uh, when we go to the side freeze, you can leave your foot on the floor and really pull this in, like this. You don't have to hold, you can just pull your leg. While I'm here, I still keep pulling my leg. This is the same stretch, just on the freeze, see that? Very good. I really suggest also, you know, doing it on the other side, exactly the same thing, right? So, if you want to work on Halo, I do stretching out and then doing exactly that stretch. When you want to do the windmills and you want to work on your windmills, I suggest doing it like this, like laying on the floor. Uh, same goes for belly mill and those variations. And also the other side, always do it both sides, right? When we talk about the flare, I suggest not doing it on one hand, you just sit like this, I'll show it from there. Put your other hand next to it, push your shoulders out, and lift this leg on top of you. Now keep lifting, don't stop lifting just because you're there, keep pushing. It should actually hurt a little bit on your leg because you keep pushing yourself. Now you can also start lifting the hip more, which will help you lift that flare. Also do the other side, same thing. Push, right? When we talk about air flare, it's exactly elbow air flare and air flare. It's actually the same thing a little bit. Uh, this is more on one hand. So you're gonna place your hand, place the foot, grab it and pull. Like this or like that. And the idea when you do it with the hand is to stretch more. But after it, you wanna do it without the hand and push the leg towards you the whole time. This will help a lot with power move. Now